having a go. I'm just saying. You can't hide away forever. Who's hiding? I'm having a day off. Well, either way, you've done nothing to be ashamed of, so you shouldn't let people think you are. I know. Thank you. Well, just looking out for you like I do. If it was me, I wouldn't bother going in again. Ever. Yeah, well, when you've been earning your own living for a few years, I'll take your opinion into account. Meantime, Scott's got a business to run. Well, he's not going to get any business, is he? Everybody thinks he's a rapist. Donna! Right, what? that's it. I'm having a shower. What the heck did you say that for? Well, I'm just saying what everybody else is thinking. You'd better get your brain into gear next time you speak. Don't know what you thought you'd achieve. Look, mend a few fences. It's the sort of thing you do when you've done wrong by someone. Anyway, like I said, he wasn't there. You want to mend a few fences? Try not making holes in the first place. <sighs> all right. Oh, so this is all down to me, yeah? Well, you couldn't keep your mouth shut, could you? Well, you should have taken that kid to hospital. Yeah, I should. I made a mistake. People do. But unlike when other people make mistakes like Scott, I get blamed for it and I lose my job. He, however, gets his mate wandering round to mend a few fences. Uh, yeah, but he's also got people around here that think he's some sort of pervert. Yeah, well, we've all got our problems, Sid. So maybe we shouldn't talk about it right now. It suits me fine. I'll go to work anyway. Now, just remember we drive on the left in this country. Yeah, all right. Just take it nice and smoothly. Stop! What are you playing at? You nearly give me a heart attack. Well, it was his fault. You looked like you were going to step into the road. Don't talk daft. I work on bins. I spend my working life dodging reckless drivers like young fella, my lad. Who are you calling reckless? Well, if you aren't fella teaching, you are. Get him next time, eh? Now, are you sure I can't get you anything? Coffee, tea or something? No, I'm fine, thanks. I hear that Jean's out of intensive care. I'm hoping they'll let me bring her home soon. If... if I'm allowed to. Well, there's one or two things we need to discuss first. Yes, but you do know that it wasn't my fault. Have you thought what you're going to do about childcare when Jean comes home? So she's going to? I think so. I mean, who's going to look after her? You're a busy professional woman. I certainly won't be using Chloe Atkinson. I'd be surprised if you did. We don't know if she intended to hurt Jean, but either way, she did neglect her. I don't even know why I employed her in the first place. I knew she wasn't qualified, but she... Well, she seemed like a pleasant girl. It happens. I'm not condoning it, but you'd be surprised how many parents entrust their kids to people they hardly know. Well, never again. If I get her back. Zoe, I'm not here to punish you in some way. I need to ensure that Jean's going to be safe and happy. She will. She will, really. I just want to know when they're going to allow that baby home. I expect to be a while yet. And even when they do, I can't imagine the Tates will be very pleased if you turn up at home farm to see her. Well, why can't that little mite live here? They've told you there's no chance. Oh, it's political correctness gone mad. Sorry? Well, they'd sooner have that poor little innocent baby living with a lesbian single-parent mental case than a decent family. Zoe loves her and everyone can see that. Love means different things to different people, Emily. I bet you don't hold with it, do you? What? Them, letting my Scots baby go back to the Tates. Oof. Won't let the Tates take an astray dog, mate. I knew you'd have a considered opinion on the matter. It's the last place on earth a kid should be. Apart from with you. Jerry! Where's Debbie? She's not here. So, what? I thought he'd be taken over to our place by now. Charity, what's going on? I haven't discussed with her when it's going to happen yet. Right. What's to discuss? You bung her stuff in a bag and you bring her over. Yeah, all right. I'll give you a bell when we know what we're doing. See you later. So what will happen to Chloe? 
Well, we'll liaise with the police to see if there are any grounds for prosecution. And before the incident, you didn't see her do anything that would cause you concern? If I had, I would have done something. It goes without saying. She shouldn't have any contact with Jean. Sorry, I'm not interrupting. Just needed this. Oh, I'm on my way, thanks. Don't worry, I know the way out. Bye for now. Thank you. Everything OK? I think so. They've accepted who's responsible for Jean's injuries anyway. Good. You can sort Chloe. Leave me to deal with Scott. Meaning? Ah, oh, you've got enough on your plate. At least I can drive. Oh, Robert can drive. He's just stopping driving. That's his problem. <laughs> yeah, it's called braking. Well, you wouldn't understand, Ali. It's technical. Oh, well, I reckon I understand it better than you, racer boy. Uh, coffee, please, Don. In a minute. How's the driving going? Oh, brilliant. Only a few new misses, eh, Rob? You can take the mick all you want. Oh, me, I'm gonna. This time tomorrow, I'll have a full licence. I don't think so. Not unless they put running over people in as part of the test. <laughs> You'll see. Yeah, we will. Reckon I've got more chance than you. Well, that sounds like fighting talk to me. You wanna make it more interesting? Depends what you mean. You're talking about up in the bet. Actually, I think gambling's stupid. 20 quid says I pass tomorrow. But then what would I know? You're on. Sorry, I should have knocked. Look, before you say anything, I'd be really grateful if you'd just hear me out. Why should I? Because you've always been fair before. I know I've got no right to demand it, but I'm just asking. Go on. I've done wrong. And I was really, really wrong not to say anything about Jean's accident. And I'm sorry. So I know I've got to go, but I'd be really grateful if you just wouldn't say anything when I go for the jobs. That's it. You know, for a moment there, I thought I was suffering from delusions again. I'm not with you. Well, I was under the misapprehension that you think saying you're sorry will make everything you've done all right. That's not what No, I... no, no, please. For my own peace of mind. You're actually asking me to keep quiet about all this? Yeah. You seriously hurt my baby. You let the social services believe that it was me. You let me believe that I might have done it. And you want what? You want, you want some sort of reference? I was good at the job. Oh, you're a terrific nanny. Until you broke my daughter's rib and tried to hush it up, obviously. Either way, I, I want you to know that I'm sorry. And I want you to know how unambiguous I feel. You are fired, and I don't want you anywhere near this house or my family ever again. And you are not getting any back pay you are owed. And you understand this. I will do my utmost. I will go out of my way to make sure that you are never allowed to work with children again. Do I make myself crystal clear? Good. Well, you can leave your keys on the way out. Some lager from the shop. What's that? Well, what does it look like? Get yourself over to the pub, buy yourself a drink. Mum, I appreciate what you're doing. Listen here, to but... me. This isn't going to go away, you know. I know that. Well, we've done nothing wrong, so you may as well go out and face your public. Listen, you're just as entitled to prop up the bar in the wall pack as anybody else, and the more you stay away, the more they're going to think there's reason to do so. If I get lynched, I'm blaming you. All right. What? I've just come from Zoe's. So? Could he talk to her for me? <laughs> no. 
She says she's going to make sure I can't get work again. Well, you didn't expect a glowing reference now, did you? No. But if you could just put in a word... And what exactly were you expecting me to say? That... OK, I did wrong, but that's no reason to totally ruin my life. You really are the limit, do you know that? Charity! You've landed Debbie right in it! Chris thought she'd done it, and because of you, she's now going to leave home. But surely now Chris knows the truth. He can wipe the slate clean. I thought we were supposed to be friends. Oh, friends? Word to the wise, love. When you're playing the friendship card, look at your timing. Many says that's what they really are. I won't let anyone drive under the age of 35. You what? Too many hormones. Wish I had a few more. And I'll make all potential drivers do a psychological profile. No one round here have passed. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Bottle, Scott. Yeah, please. No, oh, hey, in my experience, a lad wants a car for the back seat more than for the speed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. Hiya. I came looking for you this morning. Well, you needn't have bothered. In fact, you needn't bother now. Get lost. Look. I know I've been well out of order. Is that the best you can do? It wasn't planned. So you just fell into bed with my girlfriend accidentally. How terrible for you. Now get lost. Hey, this wasn't just down to me. I'm not interested. Chloe, come on to me. If you don't shut up, I'm going to punch you. Look, can I just say what I've got to say? Then decide if you want to punch me. Why should I? I can't take what you and her did to me, especially you. I told you everything. I trusted you with things I wouldn't even tell my mother, and now you want me to say that it's all right what you did. I, I never told Chloe you had a fling with Zoe. Yeah, but you thought it might give you the green light with her, though, eh? Oh, she didn't need a green light. Meaning? Well, she'd have kept her hands off me. The kid would have been fine. None of this would have happened. What are you saying? Forget it. Don't matter. Well, tell us. Forget it. Sit! <laughs> Oi! Just leave it, will you? Oh, no, no, you don't just say something like that and walk away. Are you saying she has something to do with Jim being hurt? I said, leave me alone, all you right? You want some, do you? Any time, mate. Come on, Any, then. Go on. Hey, you, hey, stop it! Is it true? What? Did you hurt Jean? What have you said? Did you hurt my kid? It was an accident. This is what I'm talking about, your kid. Listen to yourself. No one was even supposed to know you're the father. And then you treat the rest of us like you're the only one who's been honest. I want you out of my house. Both of you! Why the hell am I standing at my mum's while you're. Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Scott Windsor, consider yourself evicted. Hiya. Hiya. You had a good morning. All right. When you're taking me to Dad's home, I should think about packing. Well, what's the hurry? That keen to get away from me, are you? No, of course not. Good. I uh, heard Chloe was here this morning. Yeah? No secrets in this place. <laughs> I can't believe she lied like that. Yeah, well, people lie when they get scared, don't they? I mm, suppose. How happened to you when you found out it was yours? Something like that. Actually, I don't think I was so much scared as terrified. Well, what of? Me? No. It's just, it's a big thing being a mum, isn't it? And anyway, you're not above telling a few porkies yourself, are you? Yeah, well, I'm a confused teenager with an unstable background. I'm allowed. <laughs> so, are you going to say mates of her then? Who? Chloe. Dunno. I've got a good mate and someone else, haven't I? Tomorrow? Oh, there's no need to look so horrified. Well, I'm just a bit surprised, that's all. How's this happened? They got a cancellation. Well, just as long as you think you're ready. You can't be any worse than Robert. Oh, I'm not. That 20 quid is mine. <laughs> uh, what? They've had a bet that Robert won't pass. Oh, I see. Don't worry, Mum. It's all part of the mating ritual. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, you want to watch that lad, if you ask me. Watch him for what? I know the type. Typical teenage boy. Out for what he can get. And I should care because... I was going to get packed. Want to give me a hand? Well, I thought we could go out and do something. 
You're going to need some clothes for the summer. So, maybe we could go shopping. I'm not stupid, you know. What are you on about? Well, every time I talk about packing, you change the subject. Well, since everything has changed, I thought maybe you would prefer to stay here. Well, how's everything changed? Well, now that Chris knows that you had an out to do with Jean's accident. Oh, so he's suddenly going to become a great stepdad, is he? Can I call him uncle? <sighs> no, because he still hates me. He doesn't hate you, Debbie. He has never hated you. You've just got to give things time to work themselves out, that's all. Mum, it's the first day of the summer holidays. Am I supposed to spend the whole time tiptoeing around his lordship when I can be down at Dad's <sighs> place? No offence, but no thanks. Debbie! Look! I love what we've got me and you that we're like mates. But let's not pretend this is my own, cos it isn't. Yeah, I'm sorry we have to troll through all this again. Well, it's worth it if you can nail Windsor. We don't know you've committed any offence. Unless you've been able to remember anything else. I'm sorry, ever since I found out how it happened, I've tried, but... I really need hard evidence. She's not some attention-seeking hysteric. Yeah, I know that. But you were having some kind of breakdown at the time. No, I'm schizophrenic. Yeah, I understand that. Which made her more vulnerable and makes it pretty obvious why she can't remember anything. Well, if you do, anything at all, give us a call, OK? Yeah, yeah, sure. What, and that's it? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, we will be pursuing this as far as we can. There's a bat, isn't there? Scott Windsor says he's the father of your child. Now, DNA test will prove that. It won't prove that he's a rapist, though. So that is it? Any more developments we'll be in touch? When? When he does it again? Sorry. Didn't realise your company. It's all right. We're just leaving. What's up? I want you to apologise to Debbie. <laughs> What on earth for? You know damn well what for. Please, Chris. If we can convince her that she's actually welcome here, then she might decide to stay. I thought what Debbie wanted was of paramount importance. Yeah, it so is! So if she wants to go to her loving father, then... Who am I to stand in her way? Chris Tate. Oh, hang on. Do you mind? Oh. What's happening? No, of course I don't want to speak to him. You just carry on with what I pay you to do. Sorry, I won't speak to you. Says he's busy. You can't do this. Take a look. We're doing it. Stop it! What the blazes is going on? We're being thrown out. No! They break out. It's criminal damage, you know. Oi, I'd tell Perry Mason over there to keep his nose out. Come on, fellas. You don't have to do... Oh, Scott, do something. So go on. What's she been saying? I couldn't get out, out of her this morning. She reckons I shall stay there. Does she now? And there's surprise. And what do you reckon? Well, you know I want to come here, but I don't have to choose between you. It's not me who's making you. No. Look, I hope you two aren't going to start fighting over me, because that'll really do my head in. Of course we're not. Good. Looks like someone's going to have to back down then, doesn't it? Hi, I'm off to the hospital. Why, is something wrong? No, 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 Jean's a lot better, so I'm just going to see her. I can't wait. Well, that's great news. When's she coming home? Sooner rather than later is all I can get out of them. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Mm, of course, I'm dreading it in a way. I'm going to be so nervous having her here. You'll be fine. Besides, it doesn't do any harm to be cautious. No. Anyway, I'd better get going. Give her a kiss from me. Yeah. Afternoon. What do you want? You and me need to have a few words. And don't you know how to use a phone, Kane? I thought we'd got something sorted. But she says you've been trying to get her to stay here. Look, I'm just trying to sort a few things out here, that's all. Oh, and you didn't think it was worth telling me? Her coming to stay with you is only going to be temporary, right? What difference does that make? It's still what she wants. Debbie? I just don't feel unwanted here. Of course you are. No, well, it's not by you, Mum. You know who it is. The... Her words, no pressure from me. 
So you're going to stick to what you said or what? Well, it's not going to help if Chris finds you here, is it? It is not me causing the problem, is it? Oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise. Right, Debbie? Yeah. You going to go and see Jean? Debbie! Brilliant. I couldn't give her stuff what she thinks are in. Well, you do know she's going to want to stay for good once she comes to us. For a bit, maybe. Till the novelty wears off. I mean, surely even you can see she'd be better off here in the long run. You could live in Buckingham Palace for all she cares. It wouldn't stop her wanting to be with me. I never thought what might happen when uh, she sees right through you. Sees what you really like. So what time are you bringing the stuff tomorrow? I don't get it. I mean, they know she wasn't Compass Mentis. How did Zoe take it? In her stride. I don't think she expected much. Hmm. She's probably still just trying to get her head round it. She's a fighter. What about you? Had I thought you'd go ballistic. Me? No, I'm taking it in my stride too. It's more than one way to skin a cat, after all. Right, that's me done. Where are you going? It's my mum's. What do you care? Of course I care. Scott, I've lost my home, my job and... Me? Not bad for a day's work, is it? Scott, please. Just don't. Where am I going to go? Wherever you like. Come on. You can stay at the B&B &B tonight. Just till you get sorted. Can't exactly stay there tonight, can we? 